I wanted to put out what I felt about revolution. I thought it was time we fucking spoke about it. The same as I thought it was about time we stopped not answering about the Vietnamese war. When we were on tour at Brian Epstein, I had to tell him, we're gonna talk about the war this time. We're not just gonna waffle. I wanted to say what I thought about revolution. I had been thinking about it up in the hills in India. I still had this God will save us feeling about it. But it's gonna be all right. That's why I did it. I wanted to talk. I wanted to say my piece about revolution. I, I wanted to tell you or whoever's listening, I wanted to say, what do you say? This is what I say. Nineteen sixty eight, the student uprising in Paris. Nineteen sixty eight. U.S. involvement in the Vietnamese War has peaked. 1968, Dr. Martin Luther King is assassinated. 1968, peace was being confronted with violence, so some of the peaceful adopted the violence. 1968 John wanted it released as a single to get the message out to as many as he could, but it was met with opposition for a slew of reasons, one being George Harrison and Paul McCartney didn't find it fast enough, hence Revolution and Revolution One. In a later interview, John hauntingly responds, But the Beatles could have afforded to put out the slower, understandable version of Revolution as a single whether it was a gold record or a wooden record. But they were so upset over the whole Yoko thing and the fact that I was becoming as creative and dominating as I had been in the early days after lying fallow for a couple of years. It upset the apple cart. I was awake again. They weren't used to it. Now, there are a few versions of Revolution, and I debated on what story I wanted to tell. Did I want to talk about Michael Jackson getting sued for using it in a sneaker commercial? Or did I want to talk about the Beatles' apprehension for it being so political? But I really felt to do the song justice, the song's justice, Revolution and Revolution One, it was imperative to stay on message about peace. Right, you all must know by now that these aren't some lyrical analysis or what kind of funky music theory deconstruction can we get out of the Beatles songs. We're attempting to take a glimpse into history, into people, uh, character study, see what we have in common, what makes us different, and ultimately what makes us tick. There'll always be more to every story, but to me, my takeaway from Revolution is that even when you're mad, you're enraged, you see wrong, you see injustice, and you want to hit back. But what you really want is peace. And if what you want is peace, then you got to be peaceful. Mm -hmm.